morning, everyone. A wave, a sea of physicists and their friends who flood the Koningshof every year. This is the FOM playground. So, and then at the end, you measure the electron that is coming out, and you measure the vector of the electron momentum in what direction it comes out. Depending on the direction, it gives you the time delay of the tunneling. And I consider it really a true honor to be able to award the FOM prizes today to such an accomplished group of academics. It really helps having an industrial partnership program uh, to do your valorization. So, yeah, just thank you very much. What we have here is an egg suspended from a few meters height, and we're going to drop it down into cornstarch. What happens is that the egg does not break. a science paper that's of course for all of us here one of the greatest things that, that you can do in, in, in our publication world but the company doesn't really care about science papers the company really cares about New York Times articles so if the New York Times picks up our research and puts this on the front page of the business section then my CEO might actually see this and be very happy about this well to, to get sort of an update on what's going on in physics in the Netherlands to see what you know what projects are being successful but I think it's also kind of nice sometimes to just uh, go away from your subject for some days and uh, listen to what uh, someone else is doing. Because DNA, to understand it, you need to know polymer physics. You need to know chemistry of nucleotide binding and hydrogen bonds and of course you need to know biology so it's an intrinsically interdisciplinary molecule and the message I would take away from uh, some of the, the biology or the biophysics or physical biology that we're hearing at this wonderful conference is that perhaps in fact the 21st century will be the century of DNA as revealed by interdisciplinary research.